Joining me in the studio for more discussion on this is Marketing, Communication and Strategies for Molera Taiwo. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me, Jacinta. All right. Now, Wiki has actually distanced himself from this alleged suit against Atiku. Well, who do you think is behind this? Yeah, so this is politics and, of course, you know, there are like a lot of banters and happenings are bound to happen. And of course, because the politicians will always be politicians, you don't expect someone to do something of such and come out to say, oh, I did it. That is not to say that I do not believe that um, Governor Wiki did not do or was the one that sued. But body language speaks a lot. Ever since um, the outcome of the primaries, of the PDP primaries, a lot has been ongoing and his silence is actually loud. So I do not blame people who believe he did that, though he came out to say he did not, that he did not sue, which is good for the party. Yeah, we all saw how this uh, presidential party went down. Uh, do you think there is any case to be built against this? <laughs> <laughs> well, Governor Wicke himself said that he is not a baby politician. Because apparently, there's no case. Because politics is about building alliances. You have to build alliance and then you have to be strategic. What happened during the PD primaries was strictly strategy. It's not about making noise. It's not about being all out there and, you know. But then um, the candidates, the person who emerged as a candidate, Elijah Atiku Abubakar, and Sam Buat, of course, he stepped down for him and he emerged as the candidate. So I believe it's just strategy at work, strategy and alliance. So I, I, I think that would be funny for anyone to think there's a case to build. Of course, it was head. Everybody saw how the counting went down. It wasn't even a case of, oh, my votes were counted for my opponent or something fishy happened. No. So I don't believe there's a case. All right. So um, Mikhail, as well, earlier said that he's going to give his full support to whoever wins. Do you think Atiku still stands uh, a chance for his uh, support or well, still count on his support? Well, for me, I believe it is in Wiki's interest to support Alaji Atiku Abubakar so he would emerge. And the reason is that, where would he run to? Same APC has been bashing for over seven years, or the other thought force that emerged, that people actually believe that he chased the guy out of the party. For me, I believe it's a case of um, selling yourself and trying to make yourself the vocal point of rallying. Now, even his shouting for its southern tone, it's the southerner's tone and every of that, was it actually because he wanted a South Easterner to become the president or because he is a Southerner and he believes it is a stone, just as some others also believe? So, sincerely, it is in his best interest to support Atiku so he emerged. Because, of course, by May 2023, that's the end of his tenure. Like, he stopped being a governor and whatever immunity he thinks he is enjoying now will not be there any longer. So, where would he run to? Do you also think there is any implication for this back and forth within the party ahead of or during the election 2023? Yes, there is an implication because um, a divided house cannot win the battle. So if the PDP would win this election, it is in their best interest to come together as a force and win. Then after winning the battle, they can continue the fight. And then I would also like to say that um, the party, as we know it, People's Democratic Party, is bigger than one individual. And the truth is, if you decide to stay away from the election and they eventually win, it will always be hard for you to come back. To be fair to Governor Wiki, yeah, he held the party down 2015 to date and every of that. He did a lot of things. Amazing guy. But the person that, was, that eventually emerged as a party candidate is also one of the founding fathers of the party. Yes, he left on two occasions, but something warranted that, like issues warranted him to leave, and eventually he came back. Now, the person who, even, who he chose as his vice president is not someone who had even left the party. In fact, we can say that Governor Okoa and Governor Yesonwiki 
are the same pedestrian as far as PDP is concerned. Okowa never left the party 2015 till now. He also was one of those that were funding the party. The fact that Governor Okowa is not someone who shouts or always in your face does not mean he's not, he was not working. Mm. So as much right as Governor Yeson Wiki had to be a VP candidate, mm. so do Okowa. And it is not like an outsider was brought to become the VP candidate. Mm. So I don't think every of this is actually necessary. The best is for them to come together as a house and win. All right. Thank you very much for your contribution so far.